the flowers they don't bloom all at once um, and they don't bloom all together so not every vine um, has a flower that's opened every morning so what you do you pull down this middle part here until you reach the stamen and then you, there's two flaps you lift up the one flap and the top part is where the pollen is and then you just push it down on uh, to where you lifted up the first flap and you just give it a little bit of a squeeze and that's pollinated. Um, this month, uh, the month of uh, March um, and part of April, um, we're supposed to be looping as part of the vanilla maintenance schedule and looping and pruning. So it, it's about um, uh, taking the new shoots that are growing up and looping them down so that they start growing down towards the uh, ground and and you're creating new roots for the vanilla the more roots uh, new roots that the vanilla grows then the the healthier and the stronger your vine is going to be and um, you're going to end up with some really nice beans when you do get to that stage um, you will see that my vanilla vines are actually, they're, they're terribly overgrown, but they're still producing beans for me um, and flowers, but probably not as much as what they would do if I was able to get out here and maintain it properly. So I'll take you to where we're going to start looking for um, beans that might be ready to be harvested and you'll remember that when I was pollinating I used uh, the red red tags little red pieces of material for me to um, easily identify which vines had uh, flowers on them when all of the flowers were finished and I had pollinated them I changed the red material to blue so now it's much easier for me to walk through and I just look for all of the blue, like this one, and know that I need to check on beans. So again, some of the, the vines, um, they've fallen down and gone right down to the ground. Unfortunately, these are not going to be A grade because they're sitting on the pool and um, even though they'll continue growing, I, you know, they're okay because I do utilize every single bean, whether it's as an A grade and exported. I turn all the rest of the beans into uh, products, like my uh, extract uh, powder and um, my vanilla paste syrup. So, what we what we're looking for is for the beans to be ripened down the bottom. So you'll see here. There's some beans here, and they're all different sizes, lengths. Um, some are long and straight, like these two here, um, particularly this one here. This would be an A grade length, and it's nice and straight. These two here, they're a bit bent, um, but that's okay. We'll just continue growing them and process ex process them. them exactly the same method as what we do with the A grades.